Good evening. Thank you for allowing me to be here tonight. My name is Olivia, and tonight I have the honor of introducing a person who is very special to me. This person is kind, energetic, caring, and has a great sense of humor. He has spent countless hours with me, being the big brother everyone wants in their life. He has helped me with sports, horses, and everyday successes and failures. I can always count on him to be there for me. I suspect some of you have discovered this to be true for you as well. I think it is just natural for him to put others ahead of himself. He's a leader that gives others credit. He's a friend that relies on other, that others rely on. He is a role model that treats others as equals. I admire him for his work ethic and his ability to help others achieve more than they ever thought was possible. He's also shown me that if you work hard at something, even when you are hurt or tired, you will, and if you are dedicated to what you are doing, you will have success. Even with all of these great qualities, some of you have, may have learned another thing about him on your own. He always has fruit snacks, and he does not share food at all, which is kind of rude. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to your 2018-2019 State FFA parliamentarian, my brother and friend, Dane Bradley. So you're probably wondering what that was. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to let you all in on a little secret. I am Spider-Man. <laughs> I know this is shocking news because I hate spiders, but it's true and it's absolutely amazing. But you cannot tell anyone or else, well, you just can't tell anyone. I have to hide my identity, and it's no secret that I'm bad at telling lies. If someone asked me about it, there's no way I'd be able to convince them otherwise. Trust me, there's far too many examples for that we really just don't need to talk about. <laughs> anyway, being Spider-Man is awesome. I love all the cool gadgets, like the Halloween bucket, which the chicks dig, <laughs> and the fancy suit. Oh man, the suit really helps with the whole insane butt kicking ability, but the best part of the job is being able to do this. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. Okay, okay. Truth be told, I'm not actually Spider Man, but I would totally love to be. Can you imagine what it would be like to be a superhero? Which one would you pick? Batman, Wonder Woman, Iron Man, Spider-Man? In the movies, when the bad guys show up, the superhero is always there at a moment's notice. They sacrifice themselves to protect everyone else. They never take a moment to think about failure, only success. Oh man, that would be my definite dream job. But wait, wait, hold on. Besides the fact that I do not have a fancy suit, or super strength, or the ability to shoot webs out of my hands, I definitely do not believe in myself. Not in the slightest. There's no way I could be a superhero. Heck, there's no way I could do anything. Dane, there's no way you can do this. Dane, you can't do that. A state office? <laughs> yeah, right. College soccer? <laughs> Give it up. It will never happen. Your dreams? Just forget them. One year ago, when I ran for a state office, my head was filled with that negative disbelief. I did not think of myself as someone to lead others. I convinced myself there was not a chance in the world. I promised someone I would try, but I didn't believe it was possible. So I raised my safety nets 
and did not allow myself to get my hopes up. Then I realized it was not fair to ask others to follow me when I would not follow myself. There lied a chance for me to show that negative voice it couldn't control me. A chance to prove myself wrong. I stopped and stood there asking myself, what if? Oh man, what if? Then I envisioned myself making a difference. I envisioned myself pushing others to accomplish their goals and succeeding in what I set my mind to. The biggest shock of my life came that next day. I'd fought the battle I didn't think I would win, but it had pushed me to realization that if I believe in myself, I can do anything I put my mind to. Think of a time you fought in a battle you didn't think you could win. If you had believed in yourself, could the outcome have been different? Often, your biggest enemy will be that little voice in your head saying you can't. Forget that voice. You can. You, in that blue and gold super suit, can do anything in the world because I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in every single one of you. But you have to believe in yourself. I want you all to stand up like a superhero and hold it. Now standing like that superhero, I want you to repeat after me. I believe in 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 me. Yes. Be the hero you look up to. Be the hero that will protect you. Be the hero you believe in. Be your hero. All of us together as heroes are unstoppable. There is nothing that can bring us down. And throughout our lives, heroes will come and go, but our legacies will never be forgotten. You have always been a true inspiration to all of us. The amount of growth that we have seen a year ago sitting in those seats to now standing on this stage is what brings us all together. You always know how to make us happy. You always know how to make some of the quirkiest jokes. And above all, you always know how to make a fun situation. Wyoming FFA, for the last time, your 2018-2019 Wyoming State Parliamentarian. <laughs>